Thousands of Americans have said goodbye to the Republican Party since January 6th. NTD's Don Tran talked to a political science professor about the GOP's splitting personality. Following the events of January 6, thousands of registered Republicans changed their affiliation in four states. Over 4,000 GOP voters switched parties in Colorado, 6,000 in North Carolina, over 7,000 in Arizona, and 10,000 in Pennsylvania. Most changed to unaffiliated. One analysis found the reason many left is that they felt the party betrayed former President Donald Trump. Another theory says they left because they were ashamed of what happened at the Capitol on January 6. Professor Nicholas Giordano said there's a fracture in the party, which was caused by the many different factions within it. I think that it will intensify over the course of the future because I think we're becoming a lot, a lot more ideological and a lot more politically active where we want our politicians to do exactly as we say and when they don't then we start to deem them as traitors they betray their party they betray the trust of the party and it does become a problem and while the gop lost support democrats have targeted republicans in congress congresswoman cory bush is pushing for the investigation and removal of the over 100 republican lawmakers who voted for the 2020 election results to be overturned even though they were legally allowed to challenge the election another congresswoman alexandria ocasio cortez said the republican party has white supremacists at its core giordano said this is an authoritarian method used to eliminate political opposition this is very dangerous because what it's meant to do it's meant to portray the other side as evil it's meant to demonize the other side it's meant to marginalize them and ultimately silence them and, and that's my concern as we go forward we have this loose definition that's being used and thrown around domestic enemies where pointing to a political party and saying they're a domestic enemy and and that's the hallmarks of authoritarianism the hallmarks of authoritarianism is that you outlaw you ban you get rid of all political parties besides the one that's in power so I'm really concerned. Giordano said it'd be difficult for the government in the U.S. to become authoritarian. But with corporate interests, big tech, mainstream media, and a large number of anti-Trump Americans, the Democrat Party has a good chance. The professor said Republicans need to figure out where they are as a party. What's going to be the framework? What's going to be the thing that brings all these coalitions, all these factions together to make the party whole? Because if the Republican Party does fracture, well, that just helps Democrats. I mean, you're just splitting the vote at that point. So they need to become a party of one. But on top of that, you have the Democrats that see the weakness of the Republican Party. They see the division. They see the infighting. And they're looking to exploit that for political gain. The thousands of voters who switched to unaffiliated can still support Republican candidates and participate in the party's primaries. Don Tran, NTD News.